Hello and welcome everybody, I'm One Prop of Iron and this is yet another episode of me playing the Kievan Rus and King Rus's Love the Hunter. Now what are we going to do in this episode? I was thinking, you know, because Iron Revolt makes it quite nice, quite easy to kind of dip into their land, but at the same time, I'm old. I'm just gonna die. I'm 68. I'm just gonna die. If I die early on and off in this episode, we will go against the Khazars and try to take everything they own. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I'm just looking around, right? We, we got some major vessels here. But I actually like that Polotsk is very powerful. Quite the powerful vessel that we can't really mess with. Also, let me readjust the mic because I feel like I was too loud there. Uh, oh, Galariki got this piece of land over here, eh? I'm scared of the Polish. I will say that. You'll like me, though. Fair enough. I do, you. Rivals foes are not involved in the war. So I'm 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 scared of him because while he is tribal, he has potential vassal ally troops of seventeen thousand. That's right, seventeen thousand. <laughs> so, mm, how do we deal with this? Honestly, I don't know. I have no clue. We can lose the piety and the gold here. We could afford it. Why well, actually, we totally couldn't afford it at all. Wow, that's just rude. <laughs> I still don't know how this dude actually managed to found this abomination of a country with only three titles. Come on, man. Got to be some better way. Eh, on another note, Vishata isn't the worst, but he's not the best either. Who are you being educated by? You're left-handed. Terrible educator. I probably should have intervened here. Am I... I can't remember. Am I a good fighter? I think I am. Anyway, let's unpause. Maybe some opportunities will... Yeah, there you go. We're a great fighter. I should have educated Yaroslav, no doubt. He's also possessed. But uh, what it comes down to for me is... Grievously scarred. What it comes down to for me... Ooh, I'm going to arrive... Uh, you know what? I'm going to kill you, buddy. Dual Rurik. How strong are we? Oh, we're going to massacre him. Chief Rurik of Gadov has chosen to accept your challenge to personal combat. The duel will take place in the next few days. Let's do it. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to kill him. I'm just going to humiliate him. Man, this reminds me of the non nobis playthrough. When we had to face the Emperor. And then became the Emperor. What a time. What a time that was. I don't know you. You're a bastard. Apostate found. My son? Oh, he is highly suspicious. Son, please. He's gonna inherit here. Oh, actually, we got... You know what, son? It's time to go. Chief Zvonimir uh, doesn't like me necessarily because I just killed his father, but at the same time, he does deserve it. I'm just looking around, right? I'm just like, man... What do we do here? Flooding me. It's, it's so fascinating that this actually exists as a kingdom. You would have a total of... Yeah, that's a lot of troops, actually. Maybe we just want our troops to refresh, because we don't have that many, and we don't have the money either. So maybe it's just time to sit down and relax. The Children's Crusade. Oh, this is the first time I've seen this event. Uh, good thing that we haven't seen it early, because it was very, very bugged. News have reached us that a boy from Würzburg has received a vision from the Holy Ghost, compelling him to pick up arms, gather the true uh, follow followers of Christ, and lead a crusade against the infidels who desecrate the sacred soil of Jerusalem. The boy has gathered many fo uh, followers amongst the peasantry and has embarked on a great journey to reach the Holy Land, claiming that the sea itself will open at his passage. Conrad. Well, let's take a look at Conrad here. Ooh... You know, we, at least we gave him a pretty good education. That is, at the very least, you know, the best thing we could have done there. Also, patient. Great. Honestly, great choice. Apostate found. My other son. Hey, who's trying to... Too honest. Highly suspicious. Mm. Already has a lot of children. Might as well, right? <laughs> 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 Absolutely ridiculous. But don't tell anybody. 
I'm not gonna give you anything, I don't think. I will give you a seat. Now let's have a look at our inheritance here, Vishata. Oh, you're my actual, you're, you're another son, eh? I don't like any of these sons. I think what we're going to do, we're going to go with Yakov. And we're going to hope that some people will swing towards him. Ooh, the white bear. It's a white bear, powerful and elusive. The common foe claims uh, claim it comes from another world, and that the hunter who claims it will be imbued with divine power. So we'll take a look at that, eh? I'm going to try to get this kid into the position of power here. We look quite nice. You know, the thing is, I like these borders. They look rather unnatural, but at the same time, <clears throat> they stretch out right around both of these rivers. Uh, which names I forgot. The Dnieper, Pripyat, and Desna. And then over here you have the good old Divina. And I honestly feel like that's quite nice. That's that's pretty cool. Yakov. I would like him to be zealous. Because he has to slaughter the menace around us. Yes, I will actually do that. Crude to Warrior Lodge. The ragtag army of Konrad has reached Kiev, as if the parade of dirty peasants and screeching children hadn't already caused enough... Why are they here? It's interesting why they would go all the way through heathen Poland to reach Kiev. Your words have moved me. I will support you. Take some food and leave. Now. Okay, your words have indeed moved me. Let's do it, boys. Let's see if our kid gets through the trial. My very young son has joined me for dinner tonight and not stopped talking about his initiation duel. It was exhilarating, father, and now I am one of the champions of Perun. I knew you had it in you, Yakov. Let's go. It's come to your attention that you do not live up to the standards expected of our members. Well, we wish you... What? Excuse me? Did you just expel me? Are you kidding me? I created... This legend. They just, <laughs> they just expelled me. Are you kidding me? I am the only legend you have. And they expel me. And in the meantime, we're hunting the white bear. What a what an absolute ridiculous. Spend weeks in the wilderness searching for any trace of your prey, but no avail. However, you find that you rather enjoy being out in the wilds. All this day uh, daily physical ex activity, it makes you feel stronger. Oh, we became brawny, wow. Nice. Hello, random woman. You're not terrible, you know that? You return to your court. The hunt for this elusive white beast seems fruitless. Well, it's a wonder that we still live at 69. Magic number. Magic number indeed. Can we go to war for something? I don't want to, you know, like border disputes waste so much money. Where's the kid? Show me Billy the kid. Conrad. You're still in that spike, huh? Oh, he's a Carolingian? Or at least he has their blood. Oh, wow! That is crazy! Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, Arrange a search. Yes, thank you very much. In the meantime, we are gathering up some money. The sudden repulsion of several important Jewish merchants. Right, you lose some tech points. That's okay. Honestly, the tech points this time of the game are quite nice but we've already invested so much into our heavy infantry i don't care about any of this stuff over here my son has confronted me today about my decision to have him join the champions of perun he claims that the perspective of fighting other people makes him uneasy and jittery he hopes i could reconsider my decision to make him become a warrior like myself wait but why to make him become a warrior like myself, but that is a warrior community, my friend. Timid? Ah, he is timid, I guess. Mm. He won his initiation duel as well. No, 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 son, you gotta stay in. Alright, you know what, you're, you're I should have read that. You should pause the game. Like you should pause this video and go back. I think he like actually fled the court. You dickhead. 
Come back, son, please. The unmoving sea. Conrad claimed that the tides of the Mediterranean Sea would split open at the arrival of his army, allowing his warriors to cross, and he also stole my money. Cross unscathed and march all the way to the Holy Land. Unfortunately, the, do uh, the Lord did not fulfill the promise made to the young crusader, and now the large force of peasants and children languishes in Genoa, Genoa, looking for a way to travel to Asia. So they went from here to here to here. Amazing. They, they really need to use Google Maps instead of uh, Apple Maps there. Also, my, my, my voice today, my mouth today is completely... Some of the less determined members of the crusade have already lost their faith, but Conrad remains strong in this conviction, persuading new hopeless recruits every day. Hmm. So which one is the one that you do here? I could pray, I could actually some food, buy a passage, or just walk. I think we're just gonna walk, buddy. Because I don't have the money to give you ships, are you crazy? Do you think I have ships? I don't even have a sea axis. Not a single one. Hmm. Yakov, if you, I swear to god, come back. I'm mad. You're just a mercenary company, aren't you? What? Damn it. Lose my current heirs. It's still, uh, yeah, Vishata. Bit unfortunate seeing as he isn't actually related to me directly. Ah, oh, he's gonna have a shit education and everything. Alright, <laughs> you're coming back, Yakov. This is what you get, bitch. Oh, they gave him the wrong education. No! How dare you? Blah, blah. I will owe him. I'll take it. Winter Soldier's really good. Especially here in Russia. Uh... Now the thing is, looking at this, right, I think... A holy man came to our court today to take uh, talk about the matter of faith, but it soon became clear he had rather unorthodox views. Uh, Alright. Got rid of him. I will give him money, so that he can research some things. We could have actually conquered here Kazaria, and we could have built something there. God, I should have done it. Oh, you are just a suzerain? Yeah, a uh, tributary, I mean, sorry. Oh, and you are being conquered by what looks like Alariki? Yeah, it does. Indeed. Hmm. Sounds like his troops. It's just, like, the thing is, whenever Poland actually comes in, we're screwed. If Poland ever comes in, we're done for. Now, if we got Poland, you just, you know, you know, be done with it by splintering and falling apart, that would be gorgeous. Coast of Achaia, after having finally managed to book a passage through the Mediterranean Sea in order to reach the Holy Land, the Children's Crusade has been forced to an unfortunate detour to Greece, uh, to Greece after their ships uh, crashed on the coasts of Achaia after a terrible storm. Reports from the army are scanned, although there are rumours saying that many have started to doubt Conrad's leadership, and yet this unlikely horde of youths and peasants is still marching on towards Jerusalem. Need of supply, we don't have the money. Reiterate my support. Dispatch letters to the local authorities to send them the correct, on the correct way. I guess that this is the best, right? But we'll go with the, I'll, I'll reiterate my support because we, we can lose some prestige. That is fine. Screaming arrows, excellent, excellent. Let me see, can we go more heavy infantry yet? No. Hmm. What about attacking Bulgaria? They they are quite powerful here, Queen Stoyanka the missionary. Uh, more powerful than we are indeed. Hmm. None of that is truly speaking to me here. Uh, we can always declare war on you, I guess. Yeah, let's go for it. In fact, why wouldn't you? Oh, come on, dude. They're not powerful enough. <sighs> wasted, wasted time right there. Um, I think, like, my retinue should just be enough, right? Then again, do you ever trust, like, just straight up trust the retinue? I don't think anybody should do that. Especially because this retinue is mostly light infantry at the end of the day. Oh, we can't catch him. Alright. Got him. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. 
we have gotten them. Right. Oh, you're just raiders, right? Oh, you're an actual army? He now lives in Kiev and has become a paranoid loner living at the edge of a society barely tolerated by his peers. What do you mean? He lived with me. I was bringing him up. Hey. I'm still bringing him up. <laughs> so he lives in the city. He has fled to the city and he's just hanging out there now. He's conquering you, you. Ah. Uh, fucking subjugation wall. It's you right now. Who is it? Oh, it's you. Are you kidding me? Oh, that sucks. You won't get anything out of this. Yeah, there you go. That's what I thought. Shit. Ah, oh, God, Ariki. The bane of my existence, truly. The actual bane of my existence. It's a pain. Know that? It is indeed a pain. I love that my son is actually now like part of that Rus thingy, but he's also just, you know, being it taught by me. Oh, well, I'm dying, everybody. Goodbye. Hmm. The children at Nikea. Despite all adversities and many attempts to undermine the divinely inspired leadership, Conrad has been able to march his army all the way to Nikea. With the Holy Land uh, finally within reach, the Crusader's resolve has been strengthened. Conrad has sent me a message thanking me for, co for my continued support during the campaign and asking me any further help I am able to provide him with in order to prevail against the infidels. With my help and God's blessing, he is certain of victory against the abominable heathens. Join in battle with you. I will allocate more resources to support your fight. We'll be fighting anyway. I'm gonna fight the Tulunids. Oh. Um, I will allocate... Nah, I think I wanna... Like, I don't wanna join in the war, that's... Do I jo wanna join in the war? Hmm, they are... Like, they're not even the right religion. You know what, I'm just gonna, like, pledge more economic support. That, that'll be... that'll be dude. Oh, I got cancer, everybody. I have no cancer anymore! <laughs> this dude really does, does not, doesn't want to die, does he? And here I was, thinking, you know, it's gonna be over quite soon. Jesus, God of Riki. Really? Man, I wish... I wish I could do something about that. I hate that they are... Where they are. You know, the wrong religion. Hmm... The good old orthodox foothold. Rodeslav. He's quite nice, actually. Show me Yakov again. 15. You'll almost be done. He's a mediocre character. The conversion of Poland. Yes! Alright, Poland. That means this is a free-for-all for me. I'm going for Galariki now. And they... Could they defeat me, you think? Oh my god! 12k. That is outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. And you know it. I Oh, how many kids you got? Oh, you got enough kids. Huh? No, actually, you don't have enough kids. But I'm going to try to kill you. Because, and hear me out here. If we can kill him, his realm will splinter. At least I hope so. These are the Polish coming orthodox, eh? Makes everything easy for us once we take the land over, but takes away our war goal there. Scholarly theologian, are you kidding me? God damn it, Yakov! I swear to God. Also, who's the Rus company? Are they completely independent? Where even are they? Can't spot him. Am I blind? I don't think the Rus. I don't think they exist. Hmm. All right. He mistreated him. 
Uh, all right, this is not gonna work out. Man, I'm. This is a bit iffy. How about you clear warn you? Livonian, you <laughs> fucking Gloriants. I mean, I could declare war on Helgi. I just don't think it's going to be worth it. All right, what do you got? We get... Head of a Saint. Sweet. Head of a Saint and a Miracle Worker. It's looking up for us. It's looking up. All of the Knights are being found. And it's interesting that the first Crusade is actually for this... And it's a kid's crusade, you know? What a weird uh, situation that is. Yakov. Nobody's voting for you. You're a terrible kid, you know that? I'm the biggest, the best, the most aggressive martial man. They're all terrible. I mean, you're acceptable. You know what? I'm going to pick you. Catholic crusade for Jerusalem. There you go. Yeah, against the Tulanids. After receiving a vision of the Archangel Gabriel, who helped him lead his army through the treacherous path leading to Aldrima, the children of Conrad have miraculously managed to reach Antioch before being spotted by the infidels. In spite of the boys' claim that the infidels would forsake the devil upon their very arrival without the need for a fight, the heathens occupying Jerusalem have begun mobilizing their army, ready and eager to slaughter the innocent souls marching against them. The world will soon see whether Conrad was truly blessed by the Lord, Bug is still there. Uh, <laughs> or if I was unwise to put my trust into this child. You know what? I'm joining him. He has 100k troops. Are you insane? Good God. They actually are Jerusalem. Oh, yeah, they do. All right. Mobilize the troops, everybody. We're walking because we don't have any fleet. Coming down. Oh my god. I It will be unnecessary for me to go down there. I can tell you that much. The enemy has no chance. Nobody's any chance against this. In the year 934, where nobody possesses anything in terms of uh, army, we have this going on. That's just incredible. I don't even think I would reach there. I might want to stop my troops. You know what? I'm going to call my troops back. There's no point in this. Straight up. No point. Because he's just massacred them. Oh. Oh, that's a rogue. He's just massacring them. Oh, that should. Yeah, there you go. That's what I thought. Jesus, fuck. I mean, I just massacred our troops here for no reason whatsoever, but. Hey. I was trying, okay? I was trying to support my man, Conrad. He's gonna win. Wow. It's blowing them the hell out of you. Yeah, he's a good one. I like uh, Svonimir II. It's a good character. 24. Why are they not going in? They could have won that, you know that? It doesn't really matter. They're clearing up everybody anyway. Oh, they're going into help. No, yep, there they are. And boom. That's uh, that's uh, That's it. Conrad, the page of our lord has usurped the title county of Jerusalem. Right, that's fine. The children's crusade against all odds, the children of uh, Christ have succeeded in their unlikely quest to reconquer Jerusalem. A host of archangels with shining armor and flaming swords have been reported to have descended upon the walls of the holy city during the final battle, smiting the infidels, turning the defender's weapon into rust and melting their eyes out. Conrad now rules over the kingdom of heaven and few doubt that it was through divine intervention that he was put there. I did always believe in him. Does reflect in his position to me. Now that doesn't change anything. What? Are you... Am I crazy? Am I taking crazy pills here? Did they change any culture, by the way? Because they did all migrate there, I assume. I don't think the kids ever left. Sunni. Hmm. Weird. What to be expected under the certain... Oh, that's terrible. Roster's love. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, let's have Svonimir rise up and become the king here. Renewed jihad. Well, there you go. What a strange episode. I did nothing, and yet I did so much. With Poland converting, 
opponent won't intervene in this, will they? I doubt it, at least. Take Bolinia. If they will, then we might be in trouble, but we gotta do something, right? <laughs> Literally the entire episode, we're just hanging around. Gotta get involved at some point. Oh, nope, there's Poland. Well, that kind of fucks us, doesn't it? Oh, they're not that strong. Not... Oh, no, wait, they're still tribal. We are fucked. That was a mistake. Ah, every time. Why do I keep doing this? You know, this playthrough, there's, there's, there's the... So, check this out, right? This is my logic. There's the... Uh, playthrough for Rome, in which I am actually a genius. Where I am the greatest player you will ever see on this platform. And then I'm in this one, where I'm just like an actual idiot. I don't understand the game anymore, all things considered. Yeah, we're gonna lose this one. Easy. Fuck. Why is this a river crossing? Are you kidding me? Oh, there are the rivers. It doesn't... I'll be honest with you, I thought we were here instead of here, but... Oh. Alright, everybody get out. This war is lost. Can I just offer white peace? Alright, you know what? Fuck all of you. Kill this man. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me about this. I <laughs> oh my god, every episode. I'll see you in the fucking next one. Later.